Hello, this is Lee Hamilton. Today I'm going to be talking about the Geomax Zip 10R Pro. So I want to take you into the settings first because one of the first things we want to do when we get this gun uh, is set it up correctly, set it up to your preferences. So if you go over here to menu, you can get to settings in two, way, but, in two ways, but this way shows you the full menu. Now up here you'll see you're in the main menu, you're on page one of two. Uh, these F uh, choices here correspond down here to these big buttons. I like to use the big buttons most of the time because my hands are big, but um, there are times where I will use the numbers. Pay attention to these numbers on the right, they correspond to the pad up here. But when you go to page two, um, by paging down here, you'll see that these numbers also increase, whereas these F numbers repeat because um, they're only corresponding. This, this whole menu actually has eight items, two pages, and so there's only four F buttons. That's why it does that. So if you, basically, if you memorize this menu, you know settings is number five. You're starting from the root screen and you hit menu, you can just hit five right here. You don't have to page to that second page. That's why you have these numbers. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now we're in settings. You got three main uh, system settings here. Next is your EDM. It stands for Electronic Digital Measurement. Um, and basically that's your prism setup. So your mode is the type uh, that your, your laser is going to be looking for. This is non-prism standard, non-prism constant. That means that it's just going to continually shoot this laser, and it's going to be returning a result. All right, so that's what constant is. Foil. I don't know if you've ever seen these or not, but basically, um, you can you can buy these foil pieces that have uh, adhesive on the back, a light adhesive. Um, you can buy them at different degrees. They have a special face on them that's reflective to a certain degree. Um, and you can stick them on walls or other points um, that you're monitoring or that you know, you're know you using. It's not a long-term use, um, but you know for years. It's not like a nail or a rod you're going to put in the ground for control, but you can use it for control for certain things. Um, there have been times where I've had to monitor a wall. Um, when I was surveying out in Atlanta, Georgia, we had a wall uh, of a building that they were concerned was leaning uh, and over time. So we just, we put these foil marks on them and, and you know, you can get them in different sizes, but basically we would just, we would set up there once a week and we would monitor those same points on that wall and see if it was moving. Uh, it was, by the way. So anyway, <laughs> that's what the foil is. Um, this is Prism Standard, Prism Quick, and Prism Constant. Again, that means it's going to be shooting that laser repetitively until you change the prism type. Um, so next, once you choose the prism type, you have all of these different prisms you need to set up actually um, for whichever ones you use. I use prism and non-prism basically, and I've got two offsets, zero and negative 30. So it makes it a little easy for me. So my non-prism standard, uh, it's a, it can be none actually, the type of prism because it's a non-prism, um, but you basically have none or custom for non-prism. Then the constant is zero. When you choose none, it's gonna be zero regardless, but if you choose custom, then you can go in here and uh, you can change the, the depth. There was a time where I shot straight on because it was elevated to my, to my height, uh, I shot a pin, and I shot the face of that pin, and it was a half inch pin, so half of a half inch is a quarter inch, which equaled out to be six millimeters. So I was able to go in here and say, it's a six millimeter non-prism, uh, hit enter, and then from there I shot that pin, and it shot the center of the pin based on that. It shot the face, but then it calculated to the center. Um, so that's what that is. Laser. This is the viewpoint of the laser. Um, sorry, you got to hit enter to, to accept the change. Laser is going to be the laser that you can see right here on your hand. Uh, you can't see that laser at this point, 
when it's taking the shot you'll be able to see that laser if you're looking I don't recommend you do that you will burn your cornea <laughs> but uh, laser you can have that laser always on for this prism setting if that's your preference and uh, I actually probably should have this on because I when I'm in non prism mode I'm using that laser more than not I will say that about this gun the laser uh, the spot laser is super bright um, it's you can see it when the Sun is out out here in Texas it's uh, that's pretty handy so anyway you can just turn that off and on for this setting non prism standard um, so then you can just hit OK there uh, we'll go back into EDM non-prism constant I seldom use this uh, I will say this I did discover one time that the EDM that you leave this on is going to be the one that when you're surveying and you have the option to change your EDM it's going to flip to that one so one time I had it on uh, constant and I didn't realize that and then so when I switched to non-prism I kept getting a, a, a returned value every time even while I was turning the gun and I was really confused there for a minute before I realized it was on non-prism constant so it doesn't show you that real clearly but if you experience something like that look here and see if you're wanting it to be constant or if you just want it to be a standard shot like a single um, shot there so when you leave this screen you hit OK what you're on right here matters okay so that's the standard um, foil okay prism standard uh, I've when you flip through here you got a regular round that's the full-size round you know it's it's about this big it's uh, I couldn't tell you how what the size is um, and then you have the mini that's the little peanuts like this often referred to as a peanut um, mine offsets aren't these constants so I'm not sure where those numbers come from mini JP a 360 you've seen you've seen those with robotic instruments and there's a 360 mini um, so mine is actually a custom so when you I'll show you this when you go in here you cannot go down here and change that value so even though you might be using a big round I can't go down there and change it to a negative 30 so I have to go up here to a custom and then I can go down here and say okay my offset is 30 negative and then you can hit enter again down here do you want your laser to be on when you choose this prism type in your survey prism menu uh, no I don't because I don't like to be blind so prism standard prism quick it's another option to go through um, it's basically prism standard is going to take several shots and average those uh, a prism quick is probably going to take one I haven't looked specifically in the manual but it takes less shots uh, it comes up with the value faster but it may not be as accurate so I mean if you're in wide open spaces there's no reason why you wouldn't use a, uh, a P quick prism constant again we talked about that is just constantly returning the values over and over and over um, and basically I've set these all to be the same um, once you get them all set just remember which one you end on uh, I use prism sorry prism standard and then I hit OK and it's going to store that